Hello all, welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see one more SQL question. So the question input is you have some columns ID, country, uh, status, amount and transaction date. This, is a tra this table contains all the transactions. So transactions that happened in each country and the status is either approved or declined and you have some amount for each of the transaction and uh, there is a transaction date as well. So now the you want this output so you want the output to be in month so month of the transaction so suppose if this is uh, this all happened in uh, 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 this happened in fourth month this happened in third first fourth ninth month and all so you want the data at the month level and also for each country and for each month and each country what is the transaction count and uh, what is what is the approved transaction count approved transaction count means the transactions whose status is approved and what is the total transaction amount and uh, what is the total approved transaction amount okay so hope you all are uh, good with the question so let's go back to sql server studio and see how we can solve this uh, so i have already created this table so i um, will give you the dml script and uh, this is the input so now uh, let's see how to get this so as we as we know the output should be month and country so month month you can get derived from the transaction date and country is already present and remaining all are um, uh, calculated uh, columns we need to create so month and country so to get the month let's use simple month of function month of trans underscore date as month comma country and uh, we want a transaction count so count of so first from we will write the from transactions so because we want it from transactions so let us write this from first and count of distinct id uh, so here id consider id column as a unique column for each of the transactions so count of distinct id or if since we already know it is unique so let us use directly count of id as total trans total transactions and next one is approved transactions so approved transactions will get only when the status is approved so for that we will have to write a case statement case when sorry we have to write first count of uh, and inside this instead of directly referring to the column we need to write a case statement case when uh, status is equal to approved then 1 else 0 end so for every case statement you need to end with an end so since we are counting we are, we are using count and there is only 1 and 0 so count will always give you uh, wrong value so let us use sum as total approved transactions and next next is total uh, transaction amount so directly sum of amount as total transaction amount and next is total approved amount so again same we have to use sum case when status is equal to approved then amount else 0 and as approved transaction amount ok so this is clear now we need to write the group by group by group by we need to take these two columns okay so group by uh, month of transaction date comma country so if you run this what are we getting so yeah this is the output we are getting so for each month uh, so let's sort out by month and country so one comma two so one comma two if i am giving uh, one comma two uh, numbers in the order by clause that is the column sequence so one means the first column two means the second column 
so instead of writing the column names i'll just write 1 comma 2 okay so if i do this so yeah for australia uh, so let's write where country is equal to australia so if i do this if i run this together let's validate the australia count so australia is having two transactions 3 and 10 and uh, the tot uh, both the transactions are declined and amount is uh, 8000 and uh, all of both of them happened in first month and approved transaction amount is zero because uh, none of the amount is uh, uh, because none of the status is um, approved and total is uh, two okay so i think the same will happen for all other months and countries so now i'll explain you why in the group by i have used month of translate uh, so you might get a question why why are you not uh, why are you not directly using the translate column so let's see if we are directly using the translate column so i'll remove month so what will happen aggregation will not happen properly so if we are using directly the transaction date uh, aggregation will happen on date level instead of month level so if i run this together so here yeah, so you see this so australia is having uh, in first month it is having only two um, here if you see two two uh, two records are coming australia but here the total transaction instead of 8000 it is coming on uh, two different records 3000 and 5000 reason being you are uh, doing order uh, you are doing group by transaction date and not month of transaction date. if you are doing month of transaction date then these two records will be merged into single record so that is the difference between group by uh, month of transaction date and just group by transaction date so hope you all uh, like this solution and similarly now i'll explain you using cte okay cte is also simple so with cte as so now what will happen so since they, we are having two columns right approved transaction amount and uh, approved total approved transaction count so here if i instead of writing the case statement here i'll just write select star from transactions where can where uh, status is equal to approved so for all the approved transactions uh, i'm storing it in a cte okay and now here instead of uh, doing this selects from uh, transactions t left join cte ct on t dot id is equal to cte dot id so i'm doing this because the granularity column or the primary column for this table is id so now uh, i have to take uh, month of t dot transaction date as month comma t dot country i'm i'm specifically referring to t because uh, transaction the table contain this is the main table and the ct is derived from these transactions so transactions uh, will have all the data that's why i'm specifically referring to the t alias if i don't uh, refer to any alias it will give me uh, error saying it saying as it saying it as an ambi ambiguous column okay so now the next uh, the next column is count of id we need the total transaction so count of t dot id as total transactions comma and now we want next approved total approved transactions so now count of total approved transaction is from cte cte dot uh, id as total approved transactions okay and next is uh, next is uh, total transaction amount which is simply sum of t dot amount as total transaction underscore amount comma sum of ct dot amount as approved transaction amount and uh, yeah so this is the required columns and here again group by uh, we need only this 
uh, month of uh, transit and uh, comma t dot country so if i'm running this so yeah so instead of uh, um, uh, yeah so instead of um, uh, zero we are getting null so what we'll do here uh, so here what i'll do in the case inside this um, case when ct dot amount is null then zero else ct dot amount so in this in this way we'll be able to remove the nulls and replace it with zero okay something okay we missed the end uh, and yeah uh, yeah so this is the output which you want so hope you like the two solutions one is the simple uh, simple simple query using uh, case statements inside the aggregate functions and the second one is using cts so hope you like the question and also the solution for more such content please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day